Do you know the meaning of a flash in the pan? Is the origin of the phrase linked to guns? What about the term lock, stock and barrel? Does this have a connection with guns? All this and more coming up, but first, please do subscribe to The English Nut. Thank you. A flash in the pan is a sudden, brief success that is not repeated. It's something with a showy beginning that ends up being disappointing. In other words, it's something that starts out with promise and then fizzles out. Here are some examples of the usage of the idiom. His hit single was a flash in the pan. He never released any noteworthy songs after that. The first episode of the show was great, but it was a flash in the pan and the rest of the season was dull. She showed a lot of promise in the first few games, but it was a flash in the pan. The huge sales the phone enjoyed when it launched turned out to be a flash in the pan. The phrase has been around since the 17th century. It originates in the use of the flintlock musket, a type of gun with a long barrel used in the past by infantrymen. This gun was fired by a spark from a flint. A flint is a piece of hard grey rock consisting largely of silica. The bulk of the gunpowder used in the flintlock musket was loaded in the barrel. A small amount of gunpowder known as the priming was placed in a little pan outside the barrel. When the trigger was pulled, a spark from the flint kindled the priming in the pan. The resulting bright flame travelled through a hole called the touch hole into the barrel where it ignited the gunpowder. But at times the flame from the pan did not go into the barrel, so the gun was not fired. This was called a flash in the pan, because only the priming, the gunpowder in the pan, ignited and not the main charge of gunpowder inside the barrel. A new and enlarged military dictionary or alphabetical explanation of technical terms written by Charles James and published in London in 1802 explains it thus. Flash in the pan, an explosion of gunpowder without any communication beyond the touch hole. When a piece is loaded and upon the trigger being drawn nothing but the priming takes fire, that piece is said to flash in the pan. An early citation of the phrase is from 1687. English poet and playwright Elkanah Settle wrote in Reflections on several of Mr. Dryden's plays, if cannons were so well bred in his metaphor as only to flash in the pan, I dare lay an even wager that Mr. Dryden durst venture to see. Durst is an archaic form of the past tense of dare. The Dryden referred to here is John Dryden, a famous British poet and playwright. Another early citation of a flash in the pan is from some verses sent by a friend to one who twice ventured his carcass in marriage, written in 1703 by the English satirist Thomas Brown. Then to make up the breach, all your strength you must rally and labour and sweat like a slave in a galley. And still you must charge, O blessed condition, though you know to your cost you've no more ammunition, till at last the poor tool of a mortified man is unable to make a poor flash in the pan. Before researching this topic, I had assumed that a flash in the pan originated in gold mining. When panning for gold, a glint in the sediment collected in the pan would create excitement. But if the shine turned out to be from something other than gold, it led to disappointment. This disappointing glint is what I thought was the origin of the flash in the pan phrase. But I have now come to realize that it's the pan of the flintlock gun that gave us the idiom. Lock, stock and barrel means the entire thing, including every part of it. You could say we've moved lock, stock and barrel to another city or they've bought the company Lock, Stock and Barrel, or they want to shut down the university Lock, Stock and Barrel. The phrase refers to the three main parts of a gun. The lock is the firing mechanism. Various types of locks were used in muskets and other guns. Flint locks, fire locks and match locks, for example. The stock is the wooden handle or butt. And the barrel is a cylinder through which the bullet shoots out. So if you have all three parts, you essentially have the entire gun. The earliest citation of lock, stock and barrel as a figure of speech is from a letter written by Scottish novelist Walter Scott in 1817. 
Like the Highlandman's gun, she wants stock, lock and barrel to put her into repair. The phrase was in use in its literal sense from earlier on, as we can see in James Ray's 1752 book, A Complete History of the Rebellion. She found my Highland pistols, which were a piece of curious workmanship, the stock, lock and barrel being of polished steel. The literal use of the term eventually led to the figurative use. And at some later date, the order of the words changed from stock, lock and barrel to lock, stock and barrel. Do try to use lock, stock and barrel as well as flash in the pan in sentences. Write them in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.